My friends, DT Swiss uh, 180 versus 240 or 350, I just got these. Uh, I want to be very clear for you guys, I got discount, it was about 45 or 50%. I said, DT Swiss, I want to have these on my super light hardtail, my sub 8, around 7 kilograms uh, hardtail. Uh, I got the discount, I said I will make video about uh, the, the hubs, I was going to do it anyway, but I got the discount, thank you very much, uh, this is not paid uh, video. Um, I'm building super light uh, cross country uh, bike for my uh, nationals, Polish nationals, it will be 15th of August and I'm gonna use these uh, to my uh, to my bike. The wheels which will be uh, built around these uh, hubs will weigh between 1001 and 1100 uh, grams. I will be 71 7, about kilograms heavy when racing uh, right now I'm about 73. Uh, and now main features I love about DD Swiss. First off guys I have never, never, ever touched any nipple on DD Swiss wheels on any of my bikes. I have never, ever replaced the bearing on any of my DD Swiss wheels on any of my bikes. If you remember, two years ago I was uh, going the course, doing the course preview for the ultra marathon on my um, cyclocross bike. I have hit a. It was a rock, actually a concrete. It was a concrete edge that I have hit, it was like that, boom, uh, riding fast, uh, I have torn my tire completely, nothing happened to the wheel, uh, there was just a scratch on the, on the surface, on the edge of, of the rim, uh, really high quality, I love it about DD Swiss, DD Swiss, you are doing great job because we are using your components for many many years which is eco friendly, I love this. What about uh, 180s? 180s are the lightest and the most expensive hubs. Then we have 240s and 350s. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more uh, when we jump uh, into my computer. But these were, this new generation came in 2019, 2019. 2020 there is a new generation of 240s which are very close uh, weight-wise to these and considerably cheaper. And then there are 350s which will be considerably um, higher weight and lower price, but still not very um, heavy. These, simplicity guys, if you need to service these, this is very helpful, this, because you can now open it with your hands easily. DD Swiss, thank you for this. Uh, the ceiling of this is amazing and the difference between 180s and 240s and 350s is that here we have the sink which means ceramic bearings we have ceramic balls on this uh, there is no ceramic balls on 240s or 350s these also come in a straight pull version only so you have the spokes going straight to the um, to the hub i'm always forgetting this this name this is the flash okay thank you very much uh, the j band would go like this so the spoke would go to the different flange and go like this there is no bending on the straight pull 180s only straight pull there is a road and mtb version this is mtb this is boost uh, 15 12 millimeters amazing less parts when we take this one apart so easy uh, we have the ratchet exp uh, thing uh, which has 36 engagement points and now only one uh, spring that uh, that makes those wheels teeth work together which is great I don't need more than 36 on any terrain. This works beautifully guys, uh, I love the system. Less parts, uh, easy maintenance and high durability, I love this about DD Swiss. Guys, you can send me any parts, any components. For, for free, I'm, I will do the video for free if something is environmental friendly, if you don't replace it every season, every other season. 
loving it and I think 180s will be as durable as 240s and 350s uh, I was riding. So this was the main dis difference. Uh, lower weight, higher price, ceramic bearings uh, and only straight pull but also you have the road version. I'm now going to send these uh, to the company in Poland which will build about 1100 or 1000 grams wheels around these and my project, my Wobus super light cross country bike will be ready very very soon. And this is center lock guys, this is center lock and this is by far the system I prefer because uh, this, uh, this rotor will be uh, mounted in the even way because there's just one lock ring around it. I love it, uh, I prefer it over uh, six bolts and the look of these flanges is amazing. Diddy Swiss, thank you very much for the discount and can't wait to show you the whole wheels and the whole bike. See ya guys! I'm sitting in my computer right now. Um, if you go for the ddswiss.com uh, website and uh, choose uh, the hams, you can choose the model then and this model finder is really good. You choose MTB or road, then the axle system, uh, dimension, I'm, I'm using the most popular right now in, in MTB, so 12 by 148. Uh, center lock, because in my opinion center lock is better than 6 bolt. Uh, what type of uh, cassette you're using, and then these are the only options in in this setup here. That's for for 180. Uh, you can do the same thing with, with 240 and with uh, 350. You're gonna have uh, J-band, straight, straight pull, the classic is J-band. Uh, flanges, uh, road or MTB, but now uh, I'm gonna show you, uh, this is the Polish distributor uh, website, but I have all the info here, which can be very interesting for you, just in order to compare 180 to 240 to 350. Main uh, thought is, in my opinion, I think that 180 and 240 are the same hubs, but 180 uh, adds uh, ceramic bearings to it. Uh, look at the rear hub, this is boost, this is 28 uh, holes, this is one, uh, 148 by 12, set a lock. Uh, the 180 will weigh 193 grams and 240 will weigh 207 grams, uh, which has no difference in performance during the race, no difference. But the ceramic bearings uh, can make some difference on, on the long distance riding especially, because of... Um, how smooth the, the, the balls are. I think the, this weight difference uh, comes from the difference in the, in the bearings. So I haven't found any in-depth info about it. I think that the hub is the same, the ratchet system is the same, the newest uh, EXP, uh, but the ceramic bearings on the, uh, on the 180 will make the difference, little difference in the weight and a huge difference in the price because this is about $500, the rear 180 hump, the 240 will be about 300, less than 300, so this is a huge difference in the price, but then when we jump to the 350, same, everything same, straight pull, uh, center lock, uh, boost and so, the only difference here is that there is no micro spline a free hub body, this is uh, 9 through 11 speed uh, Shimano or SRAM 910. Uh, and this one will be 266 grams. That's about 59, about 60 grams heavier than 240s. And it's half of the price. So if this is about $300, this will be about $150. So guys, the best choice for most of us is 350 hubs. These are durable. Um, there will be also different ratchet system. This is the older ratchet system on the 350s, comparing to 180 and 240, which will have same EXP36 uh, system. Uh, but the durability, amazing uh, look, will be very, very similar. Uh, and the price point is so much different. So 350 for most of us, tray riding 350, um, I would even s say cross country racing 350, cross country racing if you have higher budget 240s, 
if you have sponsors or like in my case I'm a youtuber I got 50 about 50 percent uh, discount in order to make the test uh, or just to make an, an amazing extraordinary <laughs> light uh, bike project uh, that's 180 so 180 if you have a sponsor 240 super light very close to 180 but cheaper for, for most of us 350 that's it for today see you guys